Hi everyone, my name is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about cycle length changes. Are they normal and why do they happen? So this is a common question I am often asked. Like, is it normal for my cycle length to change from cycle to cycle? And the short answer is yes, but it kind of depends on how much your cycle length is changing. So it is completely normal to have a slight variance in your cycle length from cycle to cycle. So what I mean by that is if you have one cycle that is 29 days long and then your next cycle is 30 days long and then you have another cycle that might be 28 days long, that is completely normal. Now the reason for this is ovulation can technically happen any time of your cycle. But once you move to adulthood, your cycle should normalize and you should ovulate around the same time every month. Of course, there's a lot of things that can affect ovulation and I have talked about this before in other videos, but to make it very brief, some things that can affect ovulation would be stress, traveling, exercise, as well as diet, and health issues like PCOS or thyroid disease. And of course, there are just like so many other things that can affect ovulation as well, but we'll just keep it short and sweet. Now ovulation can be delayed or it can come early, which is what happens when you experience a cycle that is a different length. It usually means that ovulation came a couple days early or it was delayed by a couple days. Now if you have a late period, then that can be caused from ovulation being delayed by maybe a week or two or even longer. And then that's when you're kind of treading into other territory like am I possibly experiencing another health issue going on? I know for me in my young adult years, I had a wildly irregular cycle. And I'm talking like I had a cycle that was like 40 days and then I would have a cycle that was 58 days. It was so wildly irregular. And that's what I want to talk about next because if you're having experiences like that where your cycle length is changing drastically from cycle to cycle and it's not just a few days here and there, that is a cause of concern. So you want to make sure that you are investigating the root cause and of course it can be a bunch of different things, but if you are having a wildly irregular cycle, I just want to let you know that it's not normal unless you are a teenager or perimenopausal. If you are a teenager or you are entering perimenopause, then irregular cycles are actually normal. And so if you are in one of those age groups, then it's okay. That's, that's just going to happen. It will normalize when you are a teenager and go into an adult. And then when you are in perimenopause, your cycles will probably gradually become less and less and then you will enter menopause. But if you're in the middle of those years and you are experiencing wildly irregular cycles, it is a cause of concern. Another thing that I want you guys to be aware of is if your period length starts to change and you go from having like a four or five day period to like a seven plus day period, that is also a cause of concern. So if you are experiencing that, I would definitely talk to a healthcare professional. I just hope this video explains a little bit more about what's normal and what isn't. And if you guys have any questions at all, please let me know in the comment section. I just want you guys to know that your cycle matters so much. It's so important and that is why I share this work because I want you to be educated and informed about your body and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!